Hi everyone, in this episode we will be talking about Vax blockchain network. From now on, we will have a separate series about different blockchain networks. Here on Bunny Money channel, we provide you with useful information regarding finance, trading and crypto. However, keep in mind that no part of this video or any other videos on this channel is financial advice. It is provided for educational purposes only. And today we are going to talk about VAX. The reason why I decided to cover this subject is that about two months ago, while researching the app market, I discovered one popular project called Farmer's World. This game runs on VAX blockchain and truthfully speaking, not many people know about it, which is why as a keen blockchain enthusiast, I feel it is my duty to share the information with you what this network does and what it's all about. VAX, or as they called it, the Worldwide Asset Exchange VAX, is the eco-friendly blockchain for NFTs, video games and collectibles. It was released in 2017 with the purpose of making e-commerce transactions and games faster, simpler and safer. The network uses delegated proof-of-stake consensus mechanism, or as it's called DPoS, and is fully compatible with EOS. Actually, it is very similar to EOS itself. The official website of the project is on.vax.io slash vax io slash. You can access it through CoinMarketCap's Wax details page. They have got different dApps and collectibles running on it. They also have their own marketplace where you can create, trade, buy and sell your own NFTs. Its native currency, Wax, is a coin that is currently ranked 109th with market capitalization of more than 1 billion. WAX has a circulating supply of 1.8 billion tokens as of November 2021 and a total supply of 3.8 billion WAX. The custom features and the incentive mechanisms developed by WAX are intended to optimize the blockchain's utility specifically for usage in e-commerce with the goal of encouraging voting on proposals. To make this possible, WAX created a suite of blockchain-based tools which decentralized applications, dApps, marketplaces and non-fungible tokens can be built upon. You can buy WAX coin at any legitimate exchange, but in order to interact with decentralized applications which run on WAX chain, you would need to have a wallet which supports WAX blockchain. A standard type of the wallet people use is called WAX cloud wallet. It is a cloud wallet of the WAX account. To go there, type wallet.wax.io. There you can register and create your own wallet. Here on top right side, you will see your wallet address. This address is used for sending and receiving your WAX coin. On the left side, you will see the amount of WAX your wallet has. Before we continue, there is another thing I need to explain. There is no gas fee on WAX chain. When you interact with WAX chain, you would need to buy or stake other resources. There are three different resources, which are NAT, CPU and RAM. NAT is a throughput capacity of the VAX network measured in bytes. You can understand it as a total capacity of the network. CPU is a processing time of an action measured in microseconds. It is an ability to carry out transactions. You use this resource to pay for the CPU time of the blockchain. When you interact with smart contracts, you use this CPU. And RAM is a stored data of the apps of the blockchain. For example, if you need to store your NFT or some data, you will be using RAM to store it. One important thing to know is that CPU and NAT are the two resources which are renewable, meaning that you can always stake and unstake them. RAM, however, cannot be recharged. Basically, in order to interact with games, you would mostly use CPU and NAT. When you play a DApp game, buy NFT or try to interact with Wax blockchain, you would need those three resources. If there is not enough, the network will notify you. When you have your Wax wallet, you always can track it through the scan site called wax.blocks.io. Here you would be able to track every transaction on Wax blockchain. Also here in the search bar, you would be able to type in your Wax account and it will show the amount of each resource on the details page. Here you can log in into the scan site using your cloud wallet. Then you can go to the wallet section. Here you also would be able to see your account's data. 
the available amount of wax ram cpu and nat you can buy ram here in the case you need to stake or unstake your cpu or nat you can press stake cpu or nat button and here you would be able to choose the amount you would like to stake by pressing stake and approving stake the amount of the resources will be processed shortly after you can also manage your resources right in the cloud wallet by pressing on the resource button choosing your resource and pressing stake so you can stake those cpu and net and buy ram either on wallet.wax.io wax.blocks.io or when you connect your wax account to any other wallet you can also use an anchor wallet which supports connection with wax blockchain which is why i'm currently using in case you have been buying some nfts or interacting with d apps which run on wax blockchain there is another website you would need to use a lot called wax.atomichub.io atomic hub is a website for digital assets where you can create trade buy or sell nfts it is a standard for non-fungible tokens which run on wax chain you can log in into the platform and create your own nfts or you can search other projects for example farmers world then we go to the collection and on the main page we can see more information including volume and nfts if you would like to know more about farmers world game we will have an additional episode about it and it's time to make an announcement my friends and myself have spent many years in analytics and blockchain industry our team of amazing people has created a project designed to help you analyze the app games it's not a financial tool we simply help people understand all the important data regarding the app games because other platforms designed to do the same thing have their own disadvantages meanwhile we have scripts which help you to automatically manage games provide you with statistics as well as tools which give you reliable data if you would like to know more the information about our group is in the description box below this was our episode for today if you have any questions you can always leave a message in the comments this is our bunny money channel i'm vlad see you in the next episode